wake in the morning Out of my mind And I used to live for That morning sunshine Now I hide in the dark It's all I can do Till I get my loving back My loving back From you I can't go out walking Oh, I can't go to sleep Stop thinking about the promise I keep. Anyway, right. it's nice to be with you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the UK. I only wish you were gigging actually in the UK on this occasion. But yeah, I kind of do too. It's just a kind of flying visit, is it? Yeah, just uh, you know, promotion. Yeah, for the new album. Yeah. Which I've listened to, and I've got to say, I think it's uh, rather excellent. Actually. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Thanks it's very uh, much. got some very, very good hook lines in it. I think you were kind of inspired melodically when you. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, are you pleased with the outcome of it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy. Uh, really enjoyed working with Kevin Shirley, uh, the producer, and um, you know, I'd worked uh, sort of on my own the last couple of records, so it was it was really good to be working with somebody again. And um, yeah, the, I thought the band played great. And, uh, yeah, I was quite surprised actually when, when, when that it was Kevin Shirley because I, I tend to associate him with a hard rock. Yeah, scene, indeed, you know? most most people do. He, uh, yeah, on paper it looks rather odd, but but uh, in got, fact, got, got a nice country country feel on it actually. Yeah, kind of uh, kind of big vista sounding, you know. Yeah. Uh, this is the sound wash. There's a kind of sound wash effect between the tracks. Now, yeah. I don't normally like that so much, but on this, I think it actually worked rather yeah, well. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm with you. I kind of don't normally yeah. like it either, but it, it kind of worked out. Um, yeah, he's he's very good at what he does. Yeah. The opening track is the "Damn This Town," isn't it? Which yeah. is, I, I think that's a, that's a fiction, isn't it? Actually. Uh, <laughs> well, I, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a kind of. A, you know, a life full of resentments is kind of, uh, you know, where that song will get you, you know, but uh, it's, uh, you know, the character in the song is uh, obviously of, uh, you know, dubious uh, mental health, and yeah, <laughs> so I thought yeah. I'd start out with, a, you know, a dicey fellow, and then yeah. try, try and redeem try and redeem him throughout the album. Yeah, I noticed on the video you said it's like he's blaming everybody else for his trouble, it's like, we all tend to do that at times. Yeah, indeed. Did you? I suppose you must have had some low points in your career when. Oh, plenty of low ones, Vicky, and I'm sure there's more to come. <laughs> yeah, but you can't wait for those, can you? Yeah, I really liked uh, the, the second song. I need to just remind myself of the title. Till I get my loving back. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Well, that's you know that was that was I wanted after introducing you to the guy in Damn This Town. I wanted to I wanted to show pretty quick that he was you know. Just like us, his heart can break too. <laughs> so, so that was the reason I put, yeah. put that second. Yeah. Are those are those fairly recent? Those two, those opening two songs. Yeah, yeah, both. Because I know, I know, going through the album, some of the songs go quite a way back, don't they? Yeah, one of them, all the way forty years ago when I was nineteen. So. Yeah, the train yeah. to Birmingham. Song, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's. Uh, don't want to leave you now. Um, your, your, your explanation of that about when you've just got to leave the things you really like and go back out on the road again, yeah. that kind of conjured up a lot of pictures for me, you know, of all the times you have to leave home early in the morning or any time. You know. Yeah, I think it's something everybody has, can, can relate to, certainly. And, uh, you know, over the years, I've been married 25 years, and my wife and I, we, we, uh, we figured out pretty quick that, you know, even though I was on the road quite a bit, when I was home, I was home, and I could give the kids and her, you know, full attention. And so, in that respect, in some ways, we had it better than the guys that had to work 13 hours a day. You know, and didn't see their kids when they went to school, and even when they went to bed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I suppose there is the advantage of kind of extended periods between tours yeah. and things. You work with what you're given, I guess. 
And home for you is uh, in, near Nashville. Yeah, we live just yeah. south, uh, a little, near a little town called Leapers Fork. Of Leapers Fork. Leapers Fork, yeah. yeah. And a um, bit of a special place, I'm given to understand. It's a pretty nice area of, of, of the county. And um, we uh, we live just a couple of hollows over. And uh, yeah, I moved out to the, bought this old farm 20-something years ago. It's it's a great great place to hang out. Nice and peaceful. Yeah, very peaceful. You can see the stars at night and all that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah, still, although, you know, in the 20 years we've lived out there, the, the city's come out a little bit, you know, yeah. so the light's been stolen a bit. But, you know. What's it like for a kind of community life in that area? Oh, it's just great people. I mean, the thing about living out in the country is we lived in the suburbs prior to that, and, and we didn't even know who our neighbors were. And we moved to the country, and the, the neighbors are further away, but you know, you meet them immediately because you, you come to depend on them. You know, yeah. So. It's nice. I'm, uh, I'm going to jump the Detroit song and come back to that, but the song Hold On For Your Love yeah. of course, talks about the place you lived and, and the Nashville flood that happened last year. And interestingly, we were only talking, interviewing Diana Jones uh, a few weeks back, and she talked about the profound effect that had on her. Yeah. She was, was praising God, so to speak, because she was living up on the hill away yeah. from the worst of it. Well, we were down... Uh, <clears throat> We were, uh, our pastors, my wife was at home and I was coming home from a gig in Florida and uh, uh, we got flooded, we got flooded out pretty good. Uh, we have a creek lying in the front pasture and it became the raging river and came all the way up to the house which is about a quarter mile off the creek, came into the kitchen and tore things up pretty good. But uh, yeah, she, the, the hardest thing was we, I couldn't get in touch with them for about a day and a half because the cell towers were out and everything else. So it was kind of weird. Was it a distressing time? It was very distressing. Actually, Down Around My Place is, is really the song that, uh, that deals with it more than the, uh, the, the song you mentioned. But uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I, where I got the idea. Do you kind of feel there's a sense of laying things to rest, coming to terms with things, when you actually write a song about it and get it out, out of the system in that sense? Well, you know, I, I mean, songwriting is, you know, it's all fiction to me. I, I get inspired by certain things, but it's all kind of a, it's all kind of a mishmash of, of, of you know, either things that I, happen to me or things I hear happening to my friends or things I read or, you know, something I've uh, talked about with another, you know, it all kind of gets mixed up together yeah. and turn, turns into a song. So. But I think, yeah, songwriting has that quality. It, it kind of uh, allows me to, you know, get stuff out, kind of, kind of sort myself out a little bit. Do you think sort of things come from the subconscious and you look at your lyrics later and think, oh, Absol yeah, that's absolutely. what that's about me. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no doubt. It comes because, from a deep place. Somewhere. Yeah, because, yeah. I, I, you know, I write almost always uh, music first. Yeah. Lyrics are the last thing, so, so when I'm... When I'm when I'm sitting down to write the lyric, you know, a lot of times when I, it's it's being conjured up by the music, and yeah. there's no you tend telling. to pick up the guitar and play around and then hear something. That's it. That's yeah. rather what than do you, do you kind of find rather than seeking. Yeah. It's all I can do till I get my 